In previous section, I talked about some attributes that we use to decide the exit points of our network. So if we wanted to uh, send our packets to internet using uh, one of the two, for example, links here, we have two, but you may have multiple links outside. We can decide which, uh, which exit points is the better point for sending and receiving our data. For example, router 2 or router 3 for some specific routes or for all routes. What if we have a network that we want to let other users to reach to that? For example, I have a network connected to router 1. Uh, this is my loopback 0, but I can decide about this. For example, 1110110/24 is a network that I have some servers in that. And I want to let other users in internet to connect to this. You see that I have two entry points. One of the entry points come from router two. One goes come. One, one comes through router three. So which way is preferred? If I want to use router three as the best entry point to reach to this network, I need to change some attributes and tell ISP to use this router, this link to, you know, come into my network. But I have no control over ISP's routers. The answer is, I will send it an attribute, and that attribute is multi-exit discriminator. It is called MED, and of course you can translate it to metric. I mean, we are telling the ISP routers that this link has a high metric, so do not use it, but this link has a low metric, and you can use it. And of course, when using metric, you should know that metric is not used by default. You will see a value of zero for, for those routes that do not have a metric set for them. So if you want to enable metric, you need to enable it on all routers that you want to use. So if, for example, you go to router 3 and set a metric of 1000, but here you do not set any metric, again, router 3 may be used or router 2 may be used for, for what you are going to do. So what I'm going to do is to enable metric on all routers. All routers will uh, send a metric value to ISP and ISP will decide based on that. So what I'm going to do is this. First of all, let's go to router 1 and see if we have a network advertising to BGP, show IP BGP, and yes, I have a network, and this is my loopback zero that I am advertising into BGP. Right now, if I go to, for example, I1, this router of ISP, and try to reach to this network using tracing, 110111 and source it from one of my loopback interfaces that I have advertised into BGP. Now you can see that router 2 is the preferred path to enter my network. What I'm going to do is to change this. As I told you, I have no control over the routers in internet. So I go to router 2 and router 3 and send some attributes to internet. So first of all, I want to match a prefix list and I want to name it my servers server network and for sequence 5 I'm going to permit 110110 slash 24 this is exactly what I am advertising into BGP so I match this and I use it inside the route map. Route map my server network for permit 10 I'm going to match IP address prefix list my server network and I'm going to set a metric and this is going to be a high metric 1000 for example and hit enter and for the rest of the networks, I'm not doing anything. So now I need to go to router BGP1. Let me see the list of my neighbors. IP BGP summary and I want to begin 
from neighbor and this is the list of my neighbors for this neighbor I'm going to assign this route map so neighbor 201 22 254 is going to have a route map and and since I am sending the attributes I enable that outbound now let me clear IP BGP anything softly and now if I try to show IP BGP neighbor 200-122-254 advertised routes you can see that I am sending this and of course you do not see the metric here that's because this shows the route before assigning the metric now if I go to router 2 that is the receiver of the route show IP BGP will show me the metric and if I go to router 1 I1 of course show IP BGP will show the metric and you can see that I have two entry points one of them is router 2 that has a high metric and right now you can see that this is not the best route based on the metric and the other one is router 3 and it has a metric of 0 and, and I told you do not trust this go to router 3 and set the same uh, route map and, and using that you know send the metric that's because some routers do not enable this uh, feature some routers uh, treat a missing a missing metric as a very high number or as a very low number so you should do this so let's go to router 3 let's go to router 2 first of all I want to show running config because I want to use section route map to to copy the route map to router 3 I do not want to write it all over again so this is my route map on router 3 I go and create the same route map and on router 2 I want to use this IP prefix list configuration and have it here and again on router 3 show IPBGP uh, summary and begin it from neighbor this is my neighbor IP address so on router BGP1 for this neighbor I am assigning a route map and this route map is going to enable going to be enabled outbound but let's go back to the route map configuration first and for metric I'm going to make it a lower number for example 100 now clear IP BGP any softly rather 3 is advertising a very low number 100 but rather 3 is advertising a low number like 100 but router 3 is advertising a high number so if I go to router 1 and try show IP BGP again I can see that I have two routes one of them has a high metric one of them has a low metric so this is going to decide based on these attributes now try the trace again this time you can see that router 3 is preferred over router 2 and this way we can enable a metric to decide which entry point is a better point to reach to our network and of course we are we are uh, sending these information to other ASs